Shut up and sit down. Hello, guys. It is me, Epic Dose, and today I wanted to show you how to get rid of the lag or fix the lag problem in Call of Duty World War II on PC. Um, for some reason, uh, Call of Duty, at least with the engine they've used in the last couple of games, has a really crappy networking problem. Like, it's hard to get a game without lag. Um, but this is what worked for me. Of course, um, there's a lot of port forwarding videos. I'm not going to show you how to do that. Um, there's tons out there. But you do want to go to this website to get the numbers, the ports that you need to do for PC so that you can get an open NAT type, which I will show you where you can get your um, IP address. But right here, it's called portforward.com. Um, you can just put in Call of Duty, as you can see right here, uh, World War II. And you come down here and it tells you the ports for the PC the, and the consoles. But we're doing the P PC. The PC takes more. Um, there's a lot more going on. I think a lot of these are Steam um, um, ports too. I think that's why. Because you're going through Steam and then the game. Um, but anyway, here's the, these ports. You want to do that. I, like I said, I'm not going to show you how to do it. But I'll show you where you get the address. Um, here in just a sec, but you want to do these ports and you can watch one of those port forwarding videos on how to do this Because uh, it's different for each router um, But there's tons out there, but the other things that will help you get rid of lag which helped me Now I can't guarantee you it's gonna work for you, but it worked for me um, basically uh, one of the first things that I uh, read up on the forums and it's worked for me is you want to if you're running an SSD or even a hard drive, you want to have at least like probably 10 to 15 percent of free space um, when running this game. Like especially with an SSD, you don't want it to be full. Um, I guess that helps with lag. I, I don't understand it quite. I mean, I'm guessing it sends packets or something um, into the SSD, and if there's not room, it causes lag. I don't know. That's just what I read on the forums. I don't, you know, I'm sure it helps. You don't want your, you don't want, ever want to be completely full on your hard drives or your SSD, SSD drives. But okay, so you go to this site, port forwarding. Got that? So when you get into the game um, on the PC here, you're going to go to settings. And first you want to go to system info. This is where you get your port, your IP address. And the number one thing is you want to have a direct connection. I don't. But uh, that's the best way to get, you know, keep you from having lag. The stronger connection, you know, a direct connection is going to be better than Wi-Fi. I'm on Wi-Fi, but this stuff worked for me. So you get your IP address right here. I'm not going to show you mine, but it'll be right here. And you uh, do all the port forwarding for that IP address. Almost all those port forwarding uh, videos for this game show you where it's at. But it's right here. You just hit enter and it'll show you it. I'm not going to show you mine. Uh, it's not a big deal, but I just don't feel like it. But anyway, yeah, you just want to make sure your NAT's open first step. So that is open for me. Uh, it doesn't take much. Just open all those ports and you'll be good. Now, other than the uh, this, the SSD having about 10 to 15% uh, percent, uh, open space. And the last thing, which I had... Both those first ones, I had the SSD with at least 10 to 15 percent open space, a free space, and I also had uh, the port forwarding where my NAT type was open. Uh, this, as I saw on the forum, and this actually improved my lag. I had no lag, um, hardly at all, since I've done this, and I can't guarantee it's going to work for you, but it worked for me, and hopefully it will help you out too. So, it has something to do with graphics. I don't understand this. Um, we shouldn't have to do this type of stuff, but until there's a patch, this is the only way, at least for me, that I got no lag. Especially on the new maps. Before I did this, I had really weird lag on the new maps. But after I did this, hardly no lag at all on any of the maps. So, let's go in here. You go into Advanced Settings, Graphics Advanced Settings, and you go down to your Texture Options. 
and you put this on high. Now, my NVIDIA card, I have it, that's what I'm using. I'm using a 970 GTX. Um, it actually put all these settings, I think it was a little higher than this. I think it was better than high, I don't remember. I at least know that you put this on high, and then you go all the way down, and these last um, seven spots you want to turn off or low. I just turned them off. I didn't want to mess with it. I would, I'd rather not have lag than have little pretty dots. <laughs> so, you know, having, I mean, we shouldn't have to do this, but if that keeps you from having lag and having a better game and multiplayer, then I'm all for it. So, yeah, you just turn these last, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is what it said on the forum. I managed, for some reason, to have this on. So, and I haven't had any lag problems with that on. But they said off or low. I just turned them off. But ever since I've done this, my lag in the old maps and the new DLC maps that just came out for PC, for, uh, the Resistance DLC, I have not had any problems with lag whatsoever. The only time I've had something is if it wasn't on my end. It was something going on with the game. Or, you know, maybe Comcast. I have Comcast or Xfinity. And maybe they were doing maintenance or something. But other than that, not a problem since I've done this. So I hope that helps you. I can't guarantee you it's going to help you like it helped me. But I read that on the forums and I did it and it worked for me. Hope I helped you out, guys. As long as you do those three things. Port forwarding, get your NAT type open. NAT type open. Sorry, I wish I could talk. And then get your... Uh, Get, make sure your SSD or your hard drive has at least 10 to 15 percent space. I don't know why, but I'm guessing it sends some type of packets in and out of your your SSD drive or your hard drive, and uh, if you don't have room there, it can cause lag. And do these uh, graphic settings, and you should not have any lag, or at least very little. And it, and if it is happening then I'm sorry I couldn't help you, but hopefully this will help the few of you, or a lot of you. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope I helped you. Have a good one.